Let's talk about squatting with a band around your knees. So this is commonly prescribed as a way to fix the knees from coming inward while you squat down like this, okay, right? They cave in, sometimes they even touch. I've seen it, right? Some, and, and you'll see it in jumping as well when there's a, a speed component to what you're doing. That position is called knee valgus. It puts more stress on the uh, inner aspect of the knee, on the ACL, on the MCL, on the meniscus, right? And it pressurizes the outside portion of the knee. So you can also get issues out there. The fix then is to provide a resistance to force you into that mistake so that you can feel yourself correcting it. Force your knees in so that you can push your knees out. Now, this can work pretty well for newbies, right? If I have never squatted before and everything I'm doing, I'm just falling forward, I've got a lot of pressure on my big toe, I might have bunions, I got my knees coming inward like this, and it doesn't feel good. That is not necessarily a bad solution to that problem, but one thing that I want to point out is sometimes the issue isn't just knees in or out. There are two major things that I can think to explain to you, right? So oftentimes the knees come in because you're shifting forward. So make sure that you're cueing a sit back as you go down. Sometimes you don't have the mobility to sit back. And so this might be as far as you can go. And if you try to come a little lower, you're just gonna fall forward, right? I'll turn so you can see that a little better. Sometimes this might be all you can do. And then when you come down, you fall forward a little bit more. Weight comes off my heels, weight goes onto my toes, weight goes into my ankles, into my knees, into the front of my hips. I might have any sort of pain stuff associated with those joints, right? Because I'm taking away their degrees of freedom. They can't move freely, and instead they're getting overloaded with forces and with pressures. So. Keep in mind that it could be a forward shift that you need to fix first, and the bands are not going to change it. Now, second thing that I want to point out is asymmetry. So if I squat down and my knees come in, or they look like they come in, and my left knee is out a little bit more, my right knee is in a little bit more, that to me is a hip shift, okay? As I turn into one leg, I bring that knee in, and as I turn away from the other leg, I bring that knee out. Okay, I'm exaggerating it so you can see it, but sometimes knees in is an oversimplification of what's actually going on. Sometimes it's a hip shift. Sometimes there is a symmetry. So if I put a band around the knees, I might kind of try to address this right glute. And if I really emphasize it and I say, hey, I want you to keep the inside of this left foot down and the inside of this right foot down, but I want you to push this right knee out. Oftentimes, if that's all you give them, this left knee will come out too. So you may have to cue that as well. Say, hey, yeah, that's really good. Keep your left knee in now. Okay, and that will start to address this hip shifting. My concern is that the stress that you're putting, on, putting into the system, into the human, into the knees that are coming in is equal on both sides. And so if you need, if you have an asymmetry, an equal pressure is not necessarily a solution. You need an asymmetrical change. So I would challenge you, you can watch my hip shifting video and maybe get a little better idea of what's going on here. Maybe think about how can I shut off this muscle that's pulling me over to that side or this muscle that's pushing me over to that side. Instead of just pulling both my knees in, maybe there's another exercise I can give you to think a little bit more, feel a little bit more about where you're actually at.